triple digit days. But if right. July and August are like June is, Rude. we got a problem, Andy. Well, the average is 24 a year, 100 degree days. Yeah. We've already had six. We're a quarter of the way to where we normally would be, and it's not even summertime yet. Summer doesn't start until next Tuesday. Look at these readings. Hottest spots, Waco and Colleen, with readings getting up to 101 degrees this afternoon. 99 in Temple, it got up to 100. Out west, Hamilton, Gulf Way, 104 in Comanche this afternoon. 99 in Centerville, and even Bryan College Station getting up to 101 this afternoon. So very hot conditions. There is rain drifting our way. I'm not going to try to get you too, too terribly excited here because rainfall totals are less than a tenth of an inch and, and most cases even less than uh, 0.05 very likely because there's not a whole lot of moisture going on. We got a little easterly wave floating away across Louisiana in the deep east. Texas could give us a few sprinkles tomorrow afternoon, but I'm afraid it's all going to be confined to the area east of I-35 and on down towards the Brazos Valley. Here's our setup. We've got a good strong ridge of high pressure here that stretches across uh, Arkansas, East Texas, and Louisiana down to the Gulf of Mexico. Onshore flow continues to roll in, so the moisture content of the atmosphere is very, very high. It's just a very weak little system making its way under that ridge of high pressure that'll fire off those showers. And we're seeing a couple even lingering this evening, not nearly as much as we were seeing earlier this afternoon uh, because the sun's gone down, heating of the atmosphere has, has cooled off a little bit. But there's that possibility. You get in the afternoon hours tomorrow, 20% chance and you know that doesn't really mean a whole lot and it doesn't look like even if we get some it's going to amount to anything again less than a tenth of an inch now you're at 85 degrees in Waco 84 in Temple Belton Colleen Coppers Cove you're reporting 87 degrees as of uh, 10 p.m. Skies remain clear. Humidity values are kind of high as they normally would be. We're already up to 53% with a temperature of 85 right now under a clear sky. 73 by morning. Uh, I th the hazy conditions across the area right now. I think those will, will settle out after we hit midnight or so. The rest of the overnight period should be clear. Beautiful night for us. High tomorrow topping out very close to 100 degrees. Winds will be out of the south-southeast around 5 to 10 miles an hour, 20% chance of rain, and that may be stretching it a bit. Saturday looks much the same, although our rain chances pretty well evaporate. Winds out of the south 5 to 10. That's a nice change in our forecast because we've been so, so windy for so long. Winds finally dropping off to around 5 to 10 miles an hour just about every day. But hot, grief, it's hot next week. It's going to feel hotter, and we officially hit summer finally next week, huh? On Tuesday. Okay.